Hi everyone. I am Dr. C. S. Kulkarni, M.D., and I am going to teach medical biochemistry. Before starting the topic, please like and subscribe the channel. In the last session, we studied about active transport, uniport, symport, antiport, exocytosis, and endocytosis. In to today's session, we will study proteins. Proteins are of paramount importance for biological systems. All the major structural and functional aspects of, of the body are carried out by protein molecules. All proteins are polymers of amino acids. Por proteins are composed of a number of amino acids linked by peptide bonds. In this diagram, we can see that polymers Proteins are polymers of amino acids. Although about 300 amino acids occur in nature, only 20 of them are seen in human body. Most of the acids, amino acids except proline are alpha amino acids, which means that the amino group is attached to the same carbon to which the carboxyl group is attached. In this diagram, we can see that alpha aniline and beta aniline. In alpha aniline, both carboxy and amino groups are attached to the same carbon atom, whereas in beta aniline, they are adjacent to two different carbon atoms. Classification of amino acids based on their structure. In that, aliphatic amino acids include first the monoamino monocarboxylic acids. These are simple amino acids which may be sharp, glycine and arenine. Then, branched chain amino acids. These are valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Hydroxy amino acids. These are threonine and serine and sulfur containing amino acids these include cysteine and methionine amino acids with amine group these include asparagine and glutamine in this diagram we can see that glycine and alanine are simple amino acids In this diagram, we can see that valine, leucine, and isoleucine are branched chain amino acids. Here we can see that serine and threonine have OH group attached. Here we can see that sulfur containing amino acids are cysteine and methionine. Here we can see that asparagine and glutamine have amide groups attached. Classification of amino acids in that mono amino dicarboxylic acids, these include aspartic acid and glutamic acid. Then further, diabasic monocarboxylic acid, these include lysine and arginine. Within that, aromatic amino acids are phenylalanine and tyrosine. Heterocyclic amino acids include tryptophan and histidine, and amino acid include proline. In this term, we can see that aspartic acid and glutamic acid have an extra carboxyl group attached. In this diagram, We can see that arginine has a guanine DNAM group attached and lysine has an extra amino group attached. Here we can see that phenylalanine has a benzene group whereas tyrosine has phenol group attached. 
heterocyclic amino acids these are in this diagram we can see that tryptophan is an indole group attached whereas histidine has an imidazole group attached in this diagram we can see that proline is an amino acid derived amino acids found in proteins after the synthesis of proteins some of the amino acids are modified example hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine are important components of collagen gamma carboxylation of amino glutamic acid reduces sorry residues of protein is important for clotting process in the rhizoposomal proteins and in histones amino acids are extensively methylated and acetylated in this diagram we can see the difference in protein and hydroxyproline hydroxyproline has an extra hydroxyl group here we can see the difference in lysine and hydroxyl lysine the hydroxyl group is attached to the fifth carbon atom making it five hydroxyl lysine here we can see that gamma carboxy glutamate has two carboxyl groups attached instead of two ox hydroxyl group to the gamma carbon the derived amino acids not seen in protein that is non protein amino acids some derived amino acids are seen free in cells example ornithine citrulline and homocysteine these are produced during the metabolism of amino acids thyroxine may be considered as derived from tyrosine in this diagram we can see that ornithine citrulline and homocysteine are free amino acids no non alpha amino acids gamma amino butyric acid that is gaba is derived from glutamic acid beta alanine where amino group is in beta position is a constituent of pantothenic acid that is nothing but a vitamin and a coenzyme a each amino acid will have three letter and one letter abbreviations in this diagram we can see that beta alanine amino acid in is present in pantothenic acid and coenzyme a sometimes aspartic and aspartic acid may not be separately identified for which three letter abbreviation is asx and one letter abbreviation is b similarly glx or G Z stand for glutamine or glutamic acid. Special groups in amino acids. In the figures, special groups are shaded. Shaded. Amino contains quinidinium group. Phenylalanine contains benzene group. Tyrosine contains phenol group. Tryptophan contains indole group. Histidine. contains imidazole group then proline contains pyrrolidine group proline is a secondary group secondary amino group and hence it is an amino acid classification based on side chain these include amino acid having non polar side chains these include amino alanine pyrin leucine isoleucin methionine phenylalanine alanine proline and tryptophan these groups are attached to hydrophobic 
that is water repellent and are lipophilic therefore the part of proteins made up of these amino acids will be hydrophobic in nature amino acids having uncharged or non ionic polar sides serine glycine threonine cysteine tyrosine glutamine and asparagine belong to this group these amino acids are hydrophilic in nature tyrosine and cysteine may show hydrophobic character when present in the interior of the protein in this diagram we can see that hydrophobic amino acids are protein which are present within the lipid bilayer where hydrophilic amino acids are a protein are, are present in water amino acids al acidic amino acids they have a negative charge on the alpha group or r group these include aspartic acid and glutamic acid tyrosine is mildly acidic basic amino acids they have positive charge on the r group they include lysine arginine and histidine classification based on metabolism during metabolism part of carbon skeleton of these amino acids will enter the ketogenic pathway and the other part of the goes to glucogenic pathway leucine is purely ketogenic but because it is converted to ketone bodies ketone and ketogenic and glucogenic amino acids lysine isoleucine phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan are partially ketogenic and partially glucogenic however in humans lysine is predominantly ketogenic purely glucogenic all the remaining 14 amino acids are purely glucogenic as they enter only the glucogenic pathway coming to difference between glucogenic amino acids and ketogenic amino acids glucogenic amino acids are amino acids that can be converted to glucose by gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis whereas ketogenic amino acids are amino acids that form acetyl coa and acetyl aceto acetyl coa glucogenic amino acids they have glucose as precursors whereas ketogenic amino acids have ketone bodies as precursors glucogenesis is very is important in case of glucogenic amino, amino acids whereas ketogenesis is important in case of ketogenic amino acids glucogenic amino acids include most essential essential and non essential amino acids whereas ketogenic amino acids include exclusively lysine and leucine here ends our session kindly like share and subscribe the channel thank you